Hi everyone, I'm Jenny Garcia and I wanted to give you a little tour of my craft room. I recently changed some things around, made everything more simple, got rid of a lot of things. So it's going to be real short. This room is super simple. Uh, I have very basic things. Most of it from Ikea. I freaking love Ikea. It's the best place to organize your craft room. Uh, here I used to have the same black callus that you're going to see in the closet, but it was black. I was afraid that I wouldn't get it dirty. So I bought it black, but it was making my room look smaller and darker. So um, I switched it. I put the black one in the closet and bought this one. Uh, and that's pretty much the only thing I recently bought. And I'm going to start showing you what's in my room here with this Calyx since we're here. So up here I have this organizer from the Flecto. It has tumble adhesive dots, ribbon for my typewriter, some mints and some friends. I call them Patty dolls because my friend Patty made them for me. Uh, this little light box thing, um, my camera, some albums, I also have a bunch of journals in here. I have my Archer and Olive journals, my two books uh, from Boston Cleon planners. I also have my Fujifilm Instax Share printer. Here I have some of my art books, and I also have the magazines that I've been published in, and another Austin Cleon book. Uh, lettering books, art books, Craft a Life You Love by Amy Tangerine, a bunch of those books, a typewriter which I got for 20 something dollars on eBay. You could check out Goodwill or any thrift store around, but I found a good one in, on eBay. These are my Tumbow go to goodies. These are the brush pens in the twin thumbs that I'm using at the moment. And I also, I got these from thrift stores too. And I really like how they look on my shelves. These are from edible arrangements. Like, I don't like flowers, but I do like to eat. So my husband always gets me edible arrangements. So on, on this second row, I have my computer, my Sissix with my favorite dyes. I think I got this at Dollar Tree this um, magazine organizer can't figure it out but yeah uh here i have more journals and some uh simple stories snap packs these also i got from the thrift store they are wood veneers let me get see if i can get closer these are my wood veneers an album that i did the cover but i never really finished it but it's pretty cute um, another of my trusty bowls, this one has pressed pennies because I am working on my Disney album, which is this big one. I also have two December daily albums here, but I'm not paying attention to those, at least for now. These are my last four Project Life albums. I'm still working on this one. I haven't started 2019, so... <laughs> And this is a little project that I started last year and I also haven't finished. It was supposed to be 32 lists at 32 and I actually turned, turned 33 like two weeks ago. So I am really behind. This one I'm kind of saving for my December daily. I don't know if I'm going to put it here or on my Rascog. And these are... I am terrible at filming this, so I am so sorry. Okay, so these are... Um, embellishments that I just need to put in the drawers that I will show you pretty soon. And at the bottom I have some baskets. Okay, in this first basket I have a bunch of alpha stickers. I have all my stickers in here and I have them organized by color. I also have some matte photo paper in the 11, 8, 8 by 11 glossy paper i use that a lot for die cuts and things like that when i order 
collections from like Pat Martin and Serena V. That's what I used to print them. This one has my, well, it has a bunch of things. Um, it has cards. It has that album that I have no idea what I'm going to do with it yet. I was planning to put my dice in there, but I am not sure. And I have a bunch of uh, six by six papers, not papers, paper pads, and also six by eight things to make cards, foam. So these are things that I'm going to reach for often. So that's why they are out. They are out and not in the closet. Okay, in this one, I have a bunch of things. I have this album that I I haven't finished. It's from years ago. It's almost done though. I should just sit down. I have so many unfinished projects. I have a bunch of uh, Project Life mini kits and smash things. And here are all my mini Project Life kits that I want to use. And I'm going to do another round of DIY kits and I really want to use this one. And these are a few things that I found around so that's what I tuck them in so I can use it with that. And in this one, I just have punches and a bunch of other dies that I haven't used at the moment. Some stencils too. And these baskets are amazing. They are from Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree has so many goodies to organize. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to get organized. And since we're down here, <laughs> let's start in the closet and then I'll zoom out and show you how it looks. So down here I have my sewing machine, my Cricut Bright Light, some page protectors. On the side I have my guillotine and I also have my scoreboard which I don't use at all. These are all um, papers, you know, mixed media, watercolor. I have the smaller ones in here and these are from Walmart they're pretty good also cheap and here I have all my smaller pads and mini journals and this one is way too big to fit anywhere so I keep it out there and it fits this one just has a bunch of ribbon and I need to look through it to get rid of a few. Um, things that were extra in my room, this is just, you know, a Project Life kit that I could put up with the rest, but a uh, Studio Calico 9x12 album, an extra planner, and something from Geek Fuel, which is like a subscription thing. Okay, now let's go to the other two rows. So here I have more extras. This has paints and other mixed media items. I have another unfinished album here, Shocker. Some acrylics from um, Color Cast Designs and Studio, no, Ellie Studio and Pink Fresh Studio and things like that. I also have some stencils in there and a cutting mat. Here I have just things to organize, things to, I use this for my DIY kits and I get them at Dollar Tree. But it's just baggies and things to organize. I'm so happy that I got this in here. Okay, in this angle you can see a little better what's in here. I have a bunch of embellishments from many companies, sticker pads. Extras from Freckle Fawn, Studio Calico. And these are the colorful ones that I can just put with the colored embellishments. These are stamps. These are my the stamps that I don't reach for often. I also have extra clear blocks in here. I have this. And I 
you can see a little bit better. So the bottom one is um, for mixed media. The top ones are for cards. I also have a bunch of alphas in here. But these are not my favorite alphas. My favorite alphas are in my drawer on my in my desk. So here I have things for filming. I have extra paper. I have um, things for my camera. So here I have a bunch of ink and embossing powders, a few stamps. And in here I have my sequin mix items. I have little pieces of everything. I also have glitter and other things to make. Sequin mixers. And here, this is empty. And in that corner, in this corner, I have more tumble items, my refills for adhesives. Mostly adhesives are in here. Adhesive, erasers, things like that. Over here, I have my tumble. These are the twin tones and for those sukas that I bring on the road. I also have a bunch of the packs in this basket that way if I have to photograph something for a project I don't need to uh, put anything in there in here I have things to organize just extra pouches and these little boxes and the little baskets that I showed earlier that are smaller in here this is these are items that I don't use often extra medium um, I have their felt and fabric and a few other things so over here I have my art bin washi cases and I'm gonna have a few of these linked below the ones that I get from Amazon and these are amazing let me I have them organized by color And they fit perfectly and I have four of those which is way too much washi. I don't even know how many rolls I have but I do know that I have way too many. In here I have cards. I think in here too. This is a cup my daughter made for me when she was in the kindergarten of a flower I killed. I'm sorry Layla. Uh, and these that you can get in Ikea I have my heat gun and I also have some mists and inks and things like that in the corner i have my texture boutique which i don't know why i still have i never use it and that is basically this whole bookcase and up there i just have extras some layouts things i don't use often little bottle of vials some smash books project life kits and i removed the doors i thought i also thought that removing the doors helped me a see my things more often and use them and b made the room lighter and it feels bigger also it feels bigger because I have a lot less I used to have those um, clear plastic drawers and those suck <laughs> and I wish I could get the whole bookcase and the closet but I'm gonna have to post pictures below hopefully I can get a picture in there where you can see everything. So on the left I have, it's an organizer that I got years ago from Walmart. I think it was for laundry. So right there I'm gonna put projects that I'm currently working on. I may put my December daily things in there too. Like I was talking, I may move that to the bottom then put everything December daily if I do December daily this year up there and this is my Raskog I love these little baskets you can get them in Ikea I got these on Amazon I'm going to put the links below and this is all my pre little studio stuff and I have it divided by collection I put everything in here 
the A by A paper, everything fits in here. I buy more A by A because I do project life, so I don't make that many. Oh, now you're gonna get stuck. I don't make that many 12 by 12 layouts. So A by A works better for me. These are perfect for journaling cards. I also have some Spiegel Mom scraps sequence in here. Those are empty. These you can get at Dollar Tree. They are amazing and that magnet is super, super powerful. And that's where I keep some of my flare buttons. Over there are just working on embellishments and way at the bottom, which you cannot see. So let me. Uh, so that little box is for wooden or wood veneers. And if you've seen my videos, you've seen these, and I love them. I got the idea to buy this from Inky Quill. And I love them because you can just pull out a little basket and put it in your table and use them. And I have them divided by category. And the reason I have some wood veneers in the little bowls outside is because I wasn't using these. I was neglecting them in a ridiculous way. So I figured that if I saw them, I would use them more often. And I think it's really good sturdy quality too. So I enjoy that. Next, let's do my desk. So this is my desk. It's an IKEA desk, of course, with two Alex drawers on each side. I think the chair is also from IKEA, and that cable on the floor is actually from the camera because I put the camera to the left, and you're gonna see the lights in a few seconds. And I'm sorry for the weird ang angle of the camera, but I feel like if I don't put it that way, you're not gonna see what's inside. So uh, at the behind the chair, I have two waste baskets. I have one for recycling and one for regular trash. So in this side, I have my tumble adhesives, can of cream, my favorite stamps, or one of my favorite sets of stamps, um, extras for making sequence mix more stamps my favorites and this it's not a stamp pad it's a stitching pad but i like to use it so my stamping comes a little bit more clear uh tumble pens and pencils tumble water brush pens my posca markers which i love too more pens in that little baggie and these again these baskets perfect they fit here they are from walmart you can also get them on Amazon, but they are a tiny bit, I'm going to put the link anyways below, but they are a tiny bit more expensive. Not a lot, but and here I have a bunch of Project Life cards, and here I have the Antonio tray, which is, it's actually this. I always keep one on my desk for my current project. I love these. They are amazing. They're from Ikea. They're less than $5. I also have one of my label makers in here. more Project Life cards because I really want to use them. And I used to have these in that little laundry organizer that I show you from Walmart. And these are um, embellishments from Citrus Twist kits and ribbon for the label. Okay. So on the right, I have my favorite stamping pads on the closet. I have the clear snap ones. These are the ones from Studio Calico, which I like more. Um, all my roller stamps with, I love roller stamps, I don't know if you can tell, I have way too many. My tiny stapler from Tim Holtz, more liquid adhe adhesive, my sister's um, hole punch, other tools like that. These are stickers, also colorful stickers that I want to reach for more often. These are the books. I already have an idea for this one for one of the kits. So that's probably going to be the next video, the kits. 
And here I'm gonna put the DIY kits. I haven't, I, I started pu pulling them apart, but I obviously didn't finish. But I use the small ones for the embellishments and these ones are from Citrus Twist kits. Dollar Tree also has some of them and the ones I'm gonna link on Amazon. I have more here. This is for the DIY kits. That blue box is actually a kit that Danny from Pop Fist Paper made me. And I, I wanted to use that for my Disney album, so I, that's the only kit that I kept. These are a few sequin mixes that I've made for my kits. And I keep them in these little tiny containers, and those containers are from the dollar store. And you can find them in the school supply section. And here I have just my felt hearts. And I also have sequins. And if you've seen this before, if you have seen my videos, I'm going to have it linked below too. Um, enamel dots in this little box. And a uh, Project Life mini kit that I haven't used once, and that is a shame. So that's my desk. And this is a little more wide view of my desk. You can't really see it that much. I can't go further than this room. Um, it's a very simple setup in front of the window. That way I get good lighting. It does not help that I get distracted very easily. So if a squirrel is playing on the fence, I have to look at the squirrel. But I like the lights too. Really comfortable. Perfect, perfect space and size for me. I have everything within reach. And this is a view of the left side of my room. I have that long tower. It's actually for all my paper. On top I have some of my tools. Um, I have a whiteboard that way I write things and I don't forget them. I have a pin, a pin board, you call, a cord board actually. Uh, my printer and these, we're gonna go through these. These are my embellishment drawers and I have them divided by colors. My cameo and a little thing that someone threw out and I picked up years ago. But I think you can get something like that in Ikea or something like that. So. Let's go close. Okay, so here at the top I have some of my tools and I got this from Michael's. I have a bunch of brushes, pants, scissors. I have my, not the crocodile, the punching one that is really strong. I forgot the name. And my, oh my God, my fuse tool there. And I have here, I have divided by car stock. Simple stories, everything that it's American crafts that includes Amy Tan, Dear Lizzie, Chamel, Crate Paper, and all companies like that, and they are all divided. I do have two drawers that are for Christmas stuff, one for um, scraps, and the bottom one just has more um, page protectors. And these are just backgrounds to photograph. Um, I don't know if you can see it. These I just put here. It's one of the little baskets from Walmart and I just put two command hooks there so I could put my dry erase markers there. Okay, so back here again, here I have the cork board and I also have those two. And to glue those to the wall and many of the other things that are Glued to the wall here, I use this Tumbo Extreme Putty and it's perfect because you can remove it and reuse it. So I have, and I wanted to get a few more, at least, um, I don't know, like five more so I can put more, <laughs> so I can pin more things. My cameo, I have the first one, I really, really love it. This is the Canon MX 950, and I really like it. 
makes really bright pictures. It's ginormous, as you can see, because that's the big Alex drawers, which we're going to get a look into right now. Okay, so I have these divided by color, and I have to get in here and clean out some of the things that I'm not really using. But it's everything from die cuts to stick stickers, alphas. I have these little bowls that I got from Walmart and they have acrylic, flare buttons, um, these, what do you call these, the paper clips. And I also have these, which I got from Walmart too. I didn't use them as much as I could though. And again, I'm using these baskets from Walmart. So here I have yellow, orange, and gold. I also have rubber embellishments in here. Every little piece that I can find that gets separated from the kit or from the embellishment pack ends up here. And that's where I have to put all those other things. So this store is a little bit more organized because it has less things. Less is more. So I put... Uh, Alphas here too. Oh, here. Little word stickers and things like that. So I have to go through the kits that I that I took apart so I can so they can rejoin rejoin their friends on the drawer. This one is hot mess because it is green purple and multicolor i don't have many green things and even less purple even though i really like purple but the craft industry doesn't make this many things so in here i have a mix of both colors and then on the right i have everything that is multicolored this is white gray and white gray and silver This is black, brown, and cork. And I wanted to put that cork little thing out there so I could use it more. And again, so another one. You can get, never pay more than $4 for these things. So you can get them real cheap. And this one is all blue because I have an aqua blue, a lighter blue, and more little embellishments any kind bows and next to it underneath the cameo I have pictures that need to go in the album I got ink and other paper things this one's empty this one has a few pretty little studio things that are older and most of them are holiday related here i have things for my daughter to come create but i got her well i didn't get her a desk i gave her my old desk which is the common theme in my house things go from room to room until they leave the house finally and more memorabilia and photo things and i think that's it i'm gonna try to like do a wide look of the room so i was against doing this with my hands but otherwise you can't really see the full room so this is when you enter and I'm sorry about the light it's crazy since there's so much light coming from the outside then you have the rascog the little basket the calyx and the closet which I love this new setup. So with this up, I also have some layouts. Old layouts when I started of my oldest daughter. And this is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for all the weird camera angles again. This is my first craft video tour. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.